All right, hello, 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 and welcome back to the wait, and welcome to the EG playthrough. I'm your host, Spawn of Darkness. Let's get this started. Now, I really like the game EG because uh, I, I, it's it's a it's a pretty good indie game. It it's made on Game Maker, which is a pretty I wouldn't I wouldn't say I I wouldn't see it being a program for making a game like this. It seems too simple uh, for you to make a game of this caliber and it's and it's a pretty good game i mean it has that karma system and the karma system is kind of annoying to do sometimes as it is to play in some cases so um this game i found it a few years ago and it's just like i don't even know what I, I, I oh i remember now i i was looking at music and i saw this song and i was like I want to play the game that the song is from. So then I play it, and it's like the greatest song. It it really is. It, it was like, or I play it, and it was like it was like a really great game. This is that game. So I really have to thank the music for being good. Because if it wasn't for the music, I wouldn't have found this game. So you can already tell this is one of those games where I like the music. Uh. I think this is the only game where I say that. I've said that so far, but this will be happening often where I'm going to say I like the game because I like the music. Now, if you're reading or paying attention to the text, things aren't looking good. And here we have the introduction of our main character. This is E.G. And she's just waking up after what's been, I don't know, maybe a few minutes. Hasn't been too long, has it? E.G. is confused on what is going on. She's unsure of what's exactly happening right now. Uh, I, I also like this game. It's very, it's a very sad game. I don't think there's really any up, any up parts. Like things, parts where things are looking good. It's a very sad game. And the music is very good with the mood because. It's like it, it really it really does help the move. This it's it's amazing. Okay. My cat is pissing me off and I'm like about to take off her collar because it's making up so much noise. Shut up. Be free. Go away. Go 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 away, Nicole. Over there. No, go away! My my cat is so annoying. All right, uh, where are we? Okay, so we're being invaded by aliens. They're invading the complex, the multiple buildings that is the science center, and they're wrecking our shit. We have no way of of fighting them off. So basically, what they did was they tried to use their nanotechnology with these weird nano things to make a soldier that would be able to fight it. And E.G. is that soldier. She is a cyborg that is able to use the nano. So... So, basically, it's already at this point where it's like, wait, what? I almost died? And I was reconstructed as a cyborg? And she's just a normal girl. I think, if anything, her father was one of the scientists, but besides that, she really is a normal girl. There's nothing... There's nothing interesting about, Well, nothing... I wouldn't say interesting, but there's, like, there's nothing special about her. She's a normal, average girl, and then she got caught up in all this. And she's not, like, she's not brave. She's not strong. I mean, look at her. She's just freaking out about this. She is really just an average person with no special, nothing special about her. That just, and she just gets wrapped up in this and ends up having to be the hero. And here she is, still not taking it. Being able to handle it. And I really like that. It makes her seem more realistic. Like, she, it's not, she's not one of those, she's not the kind of person where it's like, um, when, when I have my back to the wall, I will come out and I'll be brave and I'll take on this challenge because I know it's something I have to do. 
She doesn't want to have to do this. She doesn't want to do this. She's afraid. When She's not the kind of person that's like, alright, let's kill them all. I'll take them all on. I don't care. She's not... She's not... She doesn't want to fight. She would rather not fight. She just wants to stay in here the whole time. And she's not strong. She's not that strong. She... She's just taking all this, and she can't handle it. Her parent, her family's dead. Her brother, her brother's the only survivor. Pretty much everyone she knows is probably dead. Everyone in the complex, at least. And she now has to fight off all these aliens? Like, really? A normal person, a normal person, wouldn't be able to take this. And I think that's really cool. That's what I like that about her. She's so... average. So... Basically, we're going to try and start out peaceful. We're going to fight as little as possible, and we're going to go find this guy named Cortera, and we need to try and negotiate. Maybe we can talk him out of getting all these uh, Tassin, I think they're called, as they're called, and fight them off. Maybe. <sighs> so, alright, let's start this. We got... We're going to start the tutorial level. I'm going to be really quick about this. All right, those are the little key log things that we can activate. Kick move I just did there. You do that with Z. Very simple. Uh, if you hold down, if you hold down while you're in the air, which is the crouch button, at the same time, uh, you will crush things below you. You press X to shoot. Notice our only weapon is a shotgun. It takes a while to reload, but it has infinite ammo. So that's gonna be our basic weapon for a lot of the game. Sort of. It's gonna be our go-to weapon when all else fails. Uh... We... <laughs> Alright, right there, the blue stuff, you use that to level up. Back over there, there was red. Red is your health, green is your armor. The blue is experience, and you use the experience to level up all of those little bars you see on the bottom right. Now, we got attack, which raises the power of all nail weaponry. We got assimilate, which increases the ammo cap and repair more armor. Strength, which raises the, ki the power of kick attacks. Tassin, which uses more advanced Tassin weapon, nano weaponry, and Kamato, which uses more advanced Kamato nano weaponry. We don't really know what Kamatos are, so we're not going to really look into that right now. What we are going to look into is increasing our assimilate. Oh, and by the way, health increases your maximum health. So notice we have two health, we increase health, we would go up to four. Level one shield door went down because it's level one, and we have enough strength to kick it down. That needs a strength of two for us to be able to kick it down. So, yeah. That was pretty much a tutorial. Uh, left and right is to move, up is to jump. I think you guys got this. Let's go. Let's go. As soon as we stop talking. Yes, stop complaining about the gun. You're doing fine. It's just a shotgun. It's got the spread. Alright. 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 Okay. Jeez. I love the music of this game. I've told you this before, but I can't help but say it again. Now notice how we were kind of standing on top of him, and we were just losing armor like crazy. That basically should tell you don't stand on top of an enemy. It's not gonna. It's not gonna end well in, in your favor. Um, you'll also you can also kind of see every now and then when she kills something, she apologizes to it because part of her character. She she doesn't want to have to fight these people. She doesn't want to have to kill them. And she's sorry that they have to die. And it just adds to how she's so... Not the person, the kind of person that should be doing this. At least not, like, emotionally. And it just, it just adds to it. I, I really like her character. And I'll, I'll really like her toward the end. Especially the way I'm playing. Because like I said, this is kind of karma. Like, based on the decisions you make, it affects the output of the game. Um, so I pretty much, and pretty much because of the playstyle I have, I know how she's going to come out. Uh, this is going to be from, this is a log from the Tassin, uh, for humans. I'm going to read this. According to officials, the sentient, sentient race we found on this planet is called humans. I don't know what, how they found that, and I don't want to know. Stick me with the people who take orders first and ask questions later. Um, these, that was a, act, the purple ones? or actual logs from the Tassin, like the actual soldiers. So we can kind of use those to look at it from the Tassin's point of view. And they appear to 
They appear to be just as confused as we are. We're not really sure what these people are, but we have to invade here. But we're invading here. I don't really care, but that's what we're doing. And then we're here, it's like, why are they invading us? Yeah. The music's gonna get awesome in five seconds. You ready? Yeah! Uh, this game, I was stupid and forgot how to break windows. This game, I, uh, a lot of their tracks, it's like a sort of, com it's a combination of sort of electronic and, uh, it's like, like it's not electronic, uh, but it's electronic. It's electronic and rock, which I think is a really cool combination, because I like both. So, I never really complain with them. Um, yeah, I'm Alright, so we're gonna head up here, up this elevator. You press up and down to use the elevators. I don't know why I just went down. Whatever. Uh... Hey, Tassin! <laughs> I just I just shoot him in the back. I like how he doesn't move either. Uh, we found some weird ammo. Don't know what that does, but we're just gonna take that. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that before. Whenever you level up, you're, uh, some of the stats go up. Naturally. My armor just went up. Because there's nothing that actually increases my armor. Hmm, what's this? <sighs> it's one of Mia's ribbons. What's it doing here? Eugene? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. She can't be alive anyway. Never mind. Mia? Was that... Eugene's sister? Maybe. I don't know. Let's head down the elevator. Yeah! You don't take fall damage in this game. Um, you'll kind of notice, I'm gonna skip through this, because I'm gonna explain it myself. Uh, that over there looks like a cool gun. Uh, let's go pick it up. We need Tassin level 3. So, we can access this Tassin panel to level it up to 2, and then level it up to 3, and now we're at Tassin level 3, so, yep, we can pick up the gun. We now have the machine gun. So, that is basically what it means by advanced. You can now use more advanced weaponry. If you, there's, you can get the weapon, you can pick up the weapon, which are found throughout the level, and you can get the weapon. Oh, another thing I should point out, your max level for every level for every sector is 5. So we can only level up 5 times, is what I'm saying. So there's a limit to the amount of levels you can have, and you can't just grind in one area to get really overpowered. Just something to point out. Alright, so with the death of this Tassim soldier, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I forgot to point that out. The, the green ones are Tassim scouts, basic scouts, they die pretty quick, two shotgun shots is enough. Uh, Tassim soldiers, they take about six, so you can tell they're stronger. They can also do kick attacks if it gets you close, and they have something else besides a machine gun. Um, let's increase our health. Oh, wait, no, we can't. This is the end of level. Alright, so we're done with this part, and <clears throat> Sector 1 complete! Results. Kills 13, damage 2, cracks, didn't do any, fails, didn't do any because we couldn't crack, and our time was 5 minutes and 59 seconds. Alright, now with the end of this sector, the part is ending as well. So I'll be seeing you guys next time on part 2 of the AG playthrough, when we go through Sector 2. You guys, and I'll see you guys next time.